As we prepare to mark the one year anniversary of George Floyd's death, many talk about what needs to change, but some are determined to be that change. Boyd is back to take us to Northside Cub Foods, where it is not business as usual. Not often do we open the door on a new way of thinking. How's that? That's cool. But not often applies to a lot Brushes. of the goings on at Cub Foods in North Minneapolis. First time I painted right next to the produce section. Artist Sean Phillips commissioned to bring life to newly carved out space. You gonna have a Mona Lisa in North Minneapolis. A vision that started <laughs> with an ugly sign. <laughs> Looting at the Cub a year ago this week after the murder of George Floyd. Looting and fires and a feeling of deja vu mm -hmm. for Cub CEO Mike Steiger. I was a district manager in Los Angeles when uh, the Rodney King civil unrest uh, took place. 1992, when Mike's job with another grocery chain left an impact. What I really learned was uh, customers in the community, they needed a sense of normalcy and a grocery store provides normalcy. So, post-Minneapolis riots, Cubs parking lot became the place to get food or catch a free ride to another Cub. And when the franchisee that ran the damaged store wanted out, Cub Corporate took it over. It's just the right thing to do. Which brings us back to that space behind the produce section. This space means everything. Lisa Clemens and Donna Anderson lead a mother's love, the community group which will be using this space for after-school tutoring, job training, and classes for moms. It made the store ours, literally. Cub has also carved out space for a food shelf distribution center. How you guys doing? Good? Hired an assortment of community artists and listened to community members. They kept, they kept every, every promise. promise. I remember one of the conversations was, what, what name do you want on the store? Oh, is it Cub Broadway? Or, and they all looked at each other, they said, Mike, we're the North Side. So it's like, all right, it's Cub North Side it is. <laughs> but there's no greater mind shift than this store's approach to shoplifting. We call it uh, concierge service. One way of saying, <laughs> fewer calls to police. How y'all doing? As Jay Moore and other members of the group, we push for peace handle it. In the past, you know, you had grocery stores calling the police because somebody was stealing a bag of potato chips. You know, like that's that's not that's not necessary. Trahern Pollard's group has a constant presence. It's my local store. Getting to the root of shoplifting, even providing food when the root is hunger. But also making sure they understand that that is not going to be tolerated at this location. Period. It really is the community taking care of the community. And it's working. Have a nice day, ladies. So well, Cub has hired We Push for Peace to provide the same service at four additional stores. This is a definitely good store. Keep it here. It's a positive, here's what we were doing, but then when, when a, a, a crisis happens, it's time for all of us to really just look at what happened and say, okay, what have we learned from this? And how do we improve from this so that this doesn't happen again? Same store, new grocery story. So that's what I hope, is that some folks can see this and pick their head up. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News. Wow, this is magical. Minneapolis. This is about.